What's up, C-Squad? How are you guys doing today? I have a question for you. Do you ever feel like there isn't enough time in the day to get everything done? And I think we can all agree with this, that life is going like this, and there's too many things to do. We don't know what to focus on. And I wanted to share with you guys something that has really worked for me like the last six months. It is my bullet journal. And it's my version of a bullet journal. If you go on YouTube, there's hundreds of videos. And I'm just gonna share with you my journal that has worked for me, that I feel like is less complicated than what other people do. Some people make journals just to kind of like be fancy and doodle and use highlighters. And this is just a down and dirty, simple daily task journal. And mine is about up. I'm on my last page today. So I figured I would make a new one and show you guys how to do it. So first things first, and I think this is the most important element of a daily task bullet journal. It is the index. The first page is dedicated to every single project, every single thing that you do is written in this index with a page number next to it. So as I'm going through my bullet journal, I'm always putting page numbers at the bottom and then this references it. So every single thing that I write in here is in the index. A lot of people will have some things on their phones, some journals for keeping track of meetings and a separate journal for keeping track of client uh, work and, and timing for that. Everything goes in this one book and I find it by the index. So that's the most important thing is to set up an index. Little bonus tip is I put a little piece of tape on the corner of the index so I can always flip back to it if I need to get to it quick. That's your index. Now the next page, what you're gonna start doing is filling each page with different tasks that you're gonna to wanna to do. Examples of these might be email, Instagram ideas, or uh, just a kind of a, an idea page. If you're, if you're a YouTuber, YouTube video ideas. You get an idea, you write it down in here. If you're a blogger, you have blog ideas. My mom's writing a cookbook, cookbook ideas, recipe ideas. You're gonna write it on this page. And if you have random scrap pieces of paper, that you write it on, either transfer that over once you get back to your bullet journal, but your journal should be with you all the time anyway, or at times I've actually taped scrap piece of paper in there if I write something down and I don't have my bullet journal. So any ideas, email ideas, Instagram ideas, art ideas, just if, if you're a creative person and you have an idea, write it down on this page. And then again, you have the index, you go to the index, you get to that page. The next thing you wanna to add to your index is a thank you note page. Gratitude is paramount. I like to, whenever somebody invites me over for dinner or helps me with a project or something, I really try to make an effort to write a thank you note. And I write thank you notes, people who I wanna thank in the thank you notes page. And then next to it, you put a little box and then you fill it in once it's done. So get into a habit of writing thank you notes. People love to be thanked. Again, gratitude is paramount. The Bible says to do all things with thanksgiving. This is the will of Jesus in our life. So we are meant to be thankful people. So page for thank you notes and then check it off once you've written it and sent the thank you note. Handwritten thank you notes, not texts, not emails, handwritten thank you notes. The next part, and this is probably one of the more important parts of the, I think I've said that this part is the most important part to every part, but the daily tasks. So this is what you're planning on doing this day. I write in my index daily task, you know, October 1st through October 7th. However many tasks you get done on that page, you just continue to move forward. Now, your daily tasks, two, maximum three primary tasks. These are tasks that are have to get done. They You want to focus two hour chunks of time on it. You're turning your phone off. You don't want to be interrupted. In the morning when your brain is still, uh, isn't tired yet, you just woke up, you just had breakfast, primary tasks. Focus on these. These are the two big things I want to get done today. So many times we get interrupted and we're, we're going from this thing to that thing to this thing to that thing that we don't focus on the primary task. So the primary task, two, maybe three maximum, but I try to do two a day. Then you have secondary tasks, maybe five of these. These are 
phone calls you need to make, something you need to pick up at the store, something that maybe needs to be fixed, things that aren't pressing for today, but things that need to get done once the primary tasks are done. And then the third thing that you have in your daily tasks are any meetings. So if you have a one o'clock meeting, you know, write that down. So your daily tasks, next to each task, you have a square. And when that task is completed, you fill it in with a block. If you don't complete that task, you put a line through the block and then you add that task to the next day. Bonus tip, one thing that I do is I have a string that is attached to the spine of my journal that goes to the current daily task. So that's, so if my book is closed, I go to this string, I can see my tasks for today. And then throughout your book, you're just, as you're doing your daily tasks, and it's really good to be able to look back. I don't scratch things out because I want to be able to look back maybe two weeks ago. When did I do that task? I got that done. You just fill in a block, but you can still see the task. And then the rest of your bullet journal, you just every day you're filling in. If you, if you have a meeting with a client right at the top of that page, meeting with Bob from the brewery, and then take your notes from your meeting. That's on page 14. Go to your index, write meeting with Bob from the brewery on October 1st, page 14. And then you can reference that later. That nothing may happen from that meeting, that's okay. Or you need to reference something a week later or two weeks later from that meeting, you can go to your index and find it. Everything is there. And then two more things. On the back page, I actually taped it, printed it out and taped it on mine, but you could write it as well, is reoccurring tasks. If every Monday morning you write emails uh, for the next week. If every Tuesday you plan your Instagram posts for the next week, put your reoccurring tasks just on the back page. So when you're doing your daily task, you just go, okay, Monday, I spend the first two hours of my day planning my week. So then I put that in my daily task. So that's a really good thing just to have on your back page. So you can quickly and easily reference it. And that's that. That is my version of the bullet journal. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, shoot me an email. I hope that helps you as you're going into you know, this new season or maybe the new year. The journal, the journal I like to use is a five by seven, um, this like kind of recycled paper journal. There's about 70 pages and this will last me, you know, a couple weeks, a couple months, depending on how busy I am. But it's really good because you can slip it in your back pocket, you can slip it in your book bag or whatever. And it's just really easy to reference and really easy to transport because it's small and thin. Hope that helps. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. See you later.